Final race on the program, 1,600 metres the trip for the last. It's a Class 3 contest. We have uh, 14 of them going to post, headed by a new starter. Duckett's Grove makes his Hong Kong debut. Won three out of five in the UK. Vinci, zero from 14 so far in Hong Kong. Fourth last time out behind Easy Go, Easy Win. California Daddy was a good seventh on debut behind Reliable Team. That was here over the mile. I do was a course and distance winner last season. Another one behind Easy Go, Easy Win last time out. Only finishing 11th of 14. Smart Patch. Also out of that so reliable team race, beaten favourite in actual fact, only beaten one home, amazing luck, fourth behind reliable team. And to Dancer Ezra, who was third last time out behind reliable team, he moves from barrier one to barrier number 14. Packing Warrior, Chunghua Spirit and Charity Go are the horses that have been on the road, Tom. No obvious leader again in this uh, final race of the day. Uh, Charity Go, he's rolled forward to, in the past. Shadow roll going back on. Hood coming off on Zomble uh, last time out. Uh, he led, uh, in fact, uh, he was slow away last start on Zomble. Amazing luck led last start. I do Duckett's Grove. California Daddy's got an awkward uh, stall of gate number seven, but he does have the tongue tie first time. Duckett's Grove, one of the first starters here. Pacifier's on for his debut run. 11.31 pounds. He's had three trials and he goes along nicely here. Comes out of the same sort of form race as a private secretary over in the UK. Smart Patch. Now, he was a little bit disappointing at his last start, but he's pulled up okay. There's no problems uh, since then. Uh, Barrier six, he should get a nice run and uh, his work's been pretty good leading into this. And the other one is uh, Nzombo, the one you just talked about uh, in the speed map. Now he's drawn barrier 11, likely to go forward, he's done nothing. But his track work's been okay leading into this, and I just wonder if he needs further in time. He's oh. close to a drop in class as well. Yeah, mm. all right. Uh, well, this is uh, another quartet first four merged jackpots pool, so a million going in there. As we start our search for the winner, uh, with this reliable team form race, he's the winner, reliable team. Ezra runs uh, Third, and then back to Smart Patch, who was unlucky here, so he's out of it in 13th. Yeah, that, that's you can see him uh, easing out. Look, I, I don't quite like the run of Amazing Luck here. He was still in front till about now, and he fought on really nice. He was just nutted for, for third from Ezra. I think this is quite a strong form race, and the rival team's a really nice horse. So, uh, look, I'm going to take a chance on Amazing Luck. He's, he's at a big price, 13 to 1. I'm going to throw Ezra in as well. I thought it wasn't a bad run from him. I've well. got Ezra in. California Daddy was making up a bit of ground. Yep. Poor old smart patch there. Got whacked from pillar to post. Yeah, we yeah, had clipped heel, so he's down. Vince, he, uh, here's another one with a... Uh, maybe a bit of an excuse last time out. I do and go ballistic. I've been with Vinci a few times and uh, now he's a 14 start maiden. He was held up early in the straight uh, flash late. This was the race that uh, easy go, easy win was able to uh, win. Not overly keen on I do here. Wide stall. I know he's a, a course and distance uh, winner, but he was a bit out of sorts uh, last time out when he was in the market. I thought uh, I do and gate 12 uh, didn't overly enthuse me. Yeah, I don't know about this as a form race because I thought easy go, easy win sort of stole it from the front and uh, won. One nice enough, so I've left that race alone and those three horses alone. All right, uh, Duckett's Grove, now raced in the Sioux family colours in England. As you mentioned, uh, Paul finished behind private secretary at uh, Goodwood. Uh, has won since, makes his debut here. Yeah, no, Keith, as I said, he's had three trials, 11.31. He was just pushed out a little bit in this trial. He's got to carry top weight. He comes with that awkward rating of 80. So I'm just happy to watch him go around on uh, debut here. Happy to watch him as well. Uh, Sylvester de Souza actually rode him in one of his uh, race day starts at uh, Newbury over in the, the UK, but yeah, happy to be a bystander this time. All right. Pri uh, private secretary, incidentally, won first up at Happy Valley in Class 2 companies, a super mm. effort. Yeah. Uh, what do you like here in the last simple? Yeah, I'm going to go with Amazing Luck. I think he can be out of uh, trouble in front. Smart Patch had no luck, as you guys have said. Ezra will be running on and packing Warrior for fourth. So 12, 9, 14, 2, each way the 12. Have a throw at the stumps in the uh, final race with California Daddy. Number six on top. Didn't like the way he ran on last start. Vinci goes in this nine. Smart patch in 14. Ezra, six, four, nine and 14. All right, Vinci for me to break his maiden in a tricky looking at last. Now, as far as the stats are concerned for the meeting, we're going to focus, Paul, on who? Now, Graham Nico here, he's going very well at the moment. He's had 20 runners out of the last three race meetings. He's won five, five seconds, two thirds. So he's going really well with that uh, really good strike rate. Looking at his runs, amazing agility. I like, give him a chance. I give Monkey Jewelry a chance. Him with Spurs and form, refined treasure with blinkers on. Uh, good standing, has got plenty of ability. Lucky puzzle, first starter, real busy, caught the eye last time. And Ezra from the wide draw. So he's got plenty of chances to uh, increase that stat. All right, okay. As far as best bets, 
that's a concern. Then what are we looking at? Going to go with leap of faith here, up to 1600 metres for the first time. Zach Purden jumps the boards, only had the two starts, look good in both. So I think he's ready to win. Leap of faith. Uh, the long shot in the first, El Jefe there, he's only had the two starts. His first start was good, second start wasn't so good. But I like the fact he's been in Chung Fa and he's uh, had a good trial up there. Uh, as far as the player of the day goes, leap of Dave, leap of faith. <laughs> Wood on fire, Savvy 7, race 4, 3, 6 and 13. Got, got there in the end. Yeah, my uh, best on the programme, race 9, number 1, uh, follow me. And uh, the value goes round in the final race of the day. That is California Daddy, race 10, number 6. And for those that have had a big night on New Year's Eve, we'll keep the play nice and simple. Win in place on follow me. <laughs> it is simple. There you go. Race nine, number one. Uh, best for me, Lucky Moore. The angle here, he was unders last time. He's beaten over a thousand. I think he'll be overs this time. And race eight, number eight, though. Lucky Moore on New Year's Day. Total power in the third. It was a good run at Happy Valley first up. He can build on that for David Hall and Vincent Ho. As far as the players concerned, QQP around quadruple double. Team Spirit and Lucky Moore. The Q really, I thought, would be the two and the eight, but Team Spirit maybe just for a bit of extra value in there as well. Those are the plays then for New Year's Day. Uh, some good racing coming up on the weekend. In actual fact, talking to four-year-old series, Decrypt makes his second start on the weekend. Yeah, really looking forward to seeing uh, him go around. Uh, Beauty Legacy, there's mm. been a few wraps on him and he's trialled well. He's in the same race as well. Yeah, there's another horse going around uh, in a New Zealand import that had to have some dispensation to come in here because he was already a five-year-old. Helena Baby, who was uh, group oh, one yeah. placed in New Zealand and uh, also was a, a listed race winner. All so right. he's interesting. Good stuff. Big plans for New Year's Eve? No. Be nice and quiet, I think, uh, New Year's Eve for me. And rearing to go on New Year's Day. Rearing to go, that's a rare occasion. Uh, on, uh, yeah, quite night. Right, all right, that's the show. Thanks for watching. On behalf of Paul, Tom and the rest of the team, hopefully see you at Shotting on Wednesday. We will be racing to win. Good night. Good night.